Hey, what is up everyone? Thank you all so much for joining me for another video. So we're just gonna jump straight into the meat and potatoes of this video. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to cover three important things. For one, the difficulty of 100%ing this game and for you to know if this is something you wanna even try doing. Two, any kind of missable trophies that you have to keep an eye out for. And three, just lastly, any overall advice that I have for 100% uh, in the game. How hard is it to 100% Kingdom Hearts? If we break it down on a basic, easy, medium, hard, I would say that this is medium. Medium, borderline easy, honestly. Of course, this is considering you go for trophies and you're used to the grind and all that good stuff. Definitely medium difficulty. I would say if you're experienced with Kingdom Hearts games, then it's definitely easy. So why do I consider this to be a medium difficulty, 100%ible game? Because luckily there's not a lot of trophies that you're gonna be spending too much time on. Uh, first of all, difficulty wise, you know, there's a lot of a lot of games out there where to win a certain fight, you just gotta get good. There's nothing else to it, you just gotta get good and you can get as strong as you wanna get or you, you can't improve your strength or whatever and all you have to do is keep trying and trying and trying. That is not this game. The beauty of this game is if at any point things are getting too hard, you can just sit there and grind and get stronger and come back to the fight once you're strong enough. Strong enough. Therefore, any of the fights that are, you know, supposed to be super, super hard, you drop the game down to the easiest difficulty, you max yourself out to level 99, and bada bing bada boom, you can beat any fight. Now, another big factor that I usually, I, I hate, is luck-based trophies. Trophies where you need a certain item to drop, you need to get a certain boss to spawn, a certain thing, this and that. This game has some of that, but even then, that's why I would consider it to be in the medium category, because yes, it, there's some luck involved, but the chances for encountering certain enemies, you just have to keep trying, and it's not as bad as some other games. Now, it does have two weapons that are kind of hard to get. There's a 0.3% chance for them to drop from, from the certain enemy that you need to kill, from two of them. But if you have all the lucky strikes or whatever, it goes up to 0.5. I know, not any better. But considering that you only need to get those two weapons, and you're not gonna really have to grind for anything else like that in this game, again, that's why I would consider medium difficulty, because there's only one instance of that. So that's not too bad. Obviously, all of this can be very subjective. It all really just depends on how much you like the game. That's how I base my platinums, and, and, and anything that I try to 100%. If I enjoy the game, honestly, it's probably gonna be an easier platinum. So missable trophies. As far as any missable trophies that you have to keep an eye out for in this game, the only missable trophies that I can think of off the top of my head in this game are the three the three different trophies that you get for, for beating the game with different requirements. One of those being without changing your equipment at all. This includes keyblades and any of the accessories. The second one being beating the game in under 15 hours. And the third one being beating the game without using continue a single time. So what people usually do, again, after you do your proud playthrough, which is, because the difficulty stuff trophy stack, so if you just go through the whole game on hard, you'll get all, the, all three of those trophies pop. What you do is you start a second playthrough on easy, and you're gonna get a bunch of these boosts to just really beefcake yourself up, that's gonna help you blast through the game. First playthrough, just focus on beating the game. Don't don't focus, don't worry about anything else, enjoy the story, beat the game. If a boss gets too hard, just level yourself up. Second playthrough, go through it as fast as you can. Um, remember, do not change your equipment or any of the accessories, so no keyblades, and, and that includes Donald and Goofy too. Do not mess with any of their stuff. And thirdly, if you do happen to die, do not hit continue. You can press load game, so make sure you're saving a lot. That actually happened to me in one of my runs, but just do not hit continue, and then the trophy will still pop. Other than that, any other trophy that you have, you can just go back and grind it out and, and get it somehow. They, they, those are the only three missable trophies that you have to keep an eye out for. Hardest trophy in the game, I would say, is definitely getting the Defender Shield and the Wizard's Relic. Just because there's such a low drop rate for those things, that oh my god. <laughs> Um, you're gonna probably grind for a little bit at the end. The other thing that's kind of a grind is getting Sora's ultimate weapon. There's a lot of things that you have to keep track of because you have to completely synthesize every item in the game, which, again, if you enjoy the game, the grind can be kind of fun. But yeah, that's really it. I have about 36 Platinums on the PlayStation, and only, and this is my very, very first 100% on the Xbox. But yeah, if y'all have any questions about the, the game or, or any kind of trophies, drop them down below in the comment section. And also, don't forget, if you ever want to see my playthrough, the whole thing is on this channel. Go to the playlist and look for the KH playthrough. I have everything. I streamed the whole thing and I literally uploaded pre pretty much everything, other than some of the grindy trophies. So 
So yeah, let me know if any of that helped. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.